What's up folks? This video is the first in a series of videos on adaptations to strength training and how those adaptations influence athleticism. So here we have a muscle. Let's cover some anatomy. Within this muscle there are many thousands of muscle fibers that run the length of the muscle. Those fibers are activated by motor neurons, cells that transmit signals from the brain. A muscle fiber is only connected to one neuron, but one neuron activates many muscle fibers. Now, during strength training, muscles generate maximum tension. As a result, the muscles become capable of generating higher tension. How? 1. Signals are sent through more motor neurons, so more muscle fibers are activated. That's a nervous system adaptation. Two. Signals are sent faster through the motor neurons, so each muscle fiber generates more tension. You have to understand, if this is a muscle fiber, one nerve signal is just going to cause a tiny little twitch. In order to actually make it shorten powerfully, it takes a whole series of nerve signals in a row. Strength training improves what's called rate coding. That's the term for the speed at which the signals are sent to the muscle fibers. That may be as high as 500 signals per second through a proficient motor neuron. That's another nervous system adaptation. The third adaptation is increase in the structural strength of muscle fibers. So when the signals activate the fibers, they generate more tension. Muscle tension comes from the interlocking protein filaments within each fiber. When you strength train and your muscles get bigger, it's partially because more protein filaments get packed into the muscle fibers, so the muscle becomes structurally stronger. So you have structural adaptation and nervous system adaptation that increase neuromuscular strength, allowing the muscles to generate more tension. Now let's talk about running and jumping. Those movements use the same process, sending signals through motor neurons, activating muscle fibers, in strength training, you can activate close to all of your muscle fibers. In high speed movements, you only get to activate a portion of the muscle fibers because the movement doesn't last long enough. For example, a foot contact during a sprint only lasts around one tenth of a second, depending on how fast you are. So the point here is, the same muscle fibers you use to sprint and jump are used when you lift a heavy weight. Strength training makes those muscle fibers stronger, both neurally and structurally. So then when you run or jump, the muscle fibers generate more force, meaning you run faster and jump higher. It's a very simple connection. So that is why strength training, even though it's relatively slow, can have a huge impact on high speed athletic movements. However, strength training is not all good, so you've got to stay tuned for the rest of this series.